Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Mass this morning are for Bernadette Pedro on her birthday, for those recommended to our prayers, especially the sick and dying, and for the eternal repose of the soul of Jeanette Engel, for the conversion of sinners, salvation of souls and the poor souls in purgatory, and for peace in the world. He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You ascend to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The company of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one said that any of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had everything in common. And with great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not anyone needy among them, For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made to each as any had need. Thus, Thus Joseph, who was surnamed by the apostles Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, a Levite, a native of Cyprus, sold a field which belonged to him, and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. The word of the Lord. (coughs) Alleluia. The Lord is king with majesty and robed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world you made firm not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from abode. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. Alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up, 
that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born anew. The wind blows where it wills, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. <clears throat> so it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can this be? <clears throat> Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand this? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and bear witness to what we have seen. But you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. The phrase to be born of the Spirit is embedded in our faith and our religious tradition. And in a way, part of the Easter message is that we must be born of the Spirit. The resurrection was a kind of rebirth for Jesus in his humanity, uh, ushered into resurrection life he was released from the limits of time and space. He had what we call now a glorified body and a very curious thing that is. We have no other example of it, how he could come through the walls and doors and all this kind of stuff. Uh, he was reborn in the resurrection. And I think we can use this also of ourselves. I must be born again. The resurrection must be a new beginning, a new life, away from whatever carried the seeds of spiritual death within us in our past. So away from maybe selfishness, away from jealousies, away from anger, all the roots of sin. But what the individual has to experience to be born of the Spirit, so the community has to experience. The community has to be born again. So our communities have to be reborn. Can the Carmelites or the Redemptorists or anybody else be reborn? We look at the state of religious life today. A new gospel poverty, a new gospel virginity of heart, 
a new gospel obedience. And what we say of religious life, we say of the church. The church must be born again. And so can we imagine that? Pope Francis has been trying to bring the church into a synodal path, a way of being church, which was the case in the early church, and he wants to restore to our church. And how different would that make us? How different would it be for us? So we all must be born of the Spirit. But Nicodemus asks a good question. How can this be? How can we be reborn? Especially those of us who have already been baptized, already gone into the tomb with him, already sharing something of his resurrection life, and yet we have to be renewed in it. And the answer seems to be today from the readings, let the Spirit do its work. Listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches, to the communities. Listen to what the Spirit is saying to each of us. Let the Spirit work in us individually, in our community, and in the church. So the whole of Easter, the 50 days of Easter, is leading to the public outpouring of the Spirit, being born again in the Spirit. And so our prayer is that we would be empowered by the Spirit, that we would be overcome by the Spirit, that we would be living a new life in the Spirit. Amen.
So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Until you come again. Therefore, 
As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia.
<clears throat> Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace.